And that intersection has been on the radar of state officials. Even before last night's crash, there were plans in place to make this intersection safer. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz brings us those details. Dolores Wozniak has traveled this Highway 29 intersection all her life and says she's heard of several crashes over the years. I think it's kind of dangerous because it's very hard to get across when there's lots of traffic. The Department of Transportation has been planning to remove the intersection in 2017. It plans to build an overpass to take traffic from St. Augustine Street across Highway 29. Traffic from Highway 156 would be rerouted to Old 29 with direct access to the Highway 32 interchange. There is an above average crash rate at that intersection right now. Here are the facts. The DOT's most recent numbers from 2008 to 2012 show there is 0.35 crashes per 1 million vehicles traveling the intersection. That's almost double the statewide rate for highway intersections. The Shano County Sheriff's Department provided us more recent numbers. It reports there's been 22 crashes in just the last three years. DOT officials aren't sure whether they'll look into removing this intersection before 2017. They say even before the deadly crash, they considered many options. We considered building J-turns there, which, um, you know, is, is a little less costly and, and could have been done a little quicker. However, um, that wasn't a recommended alternative that we're going to move forward with. A J-turn was put in just down the road on 29 near County Road VV. J-turns prevent traffic from going across the highway, instead forcing drivers to turn right and then make a move similar to a U-turn. As for Wozniak, she's happy to hear a change is coming at the intersection of the deadly bus crash. Because your 29 doesn't slow down and yet people have to go across. In Pittsfield, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News.